What is going on, my geeks? It is your boy, Geekasaurus Rex. Coming at you with a brand new episode this Monday. Here we are. We're doing it big, like always. Um, I'm doing things a little differently today, so I know I said I was going to do some Star Wars, but I'm going to change it up a little bit. Um, you know, we kind of hit a little lull in the, uh, in the uh, viewership, so... No big deal. We're going to do things a little differently today, and uh, stay tuned. i got a big surprise for you. So as many of you know, I am a huge Office fan, okay? I've got the autographs right there. Um, huge Office fan. Uh, and so on Friday, Space Force um, dropped. And so that is Netflix's answer to losing... Um, the office because uh, they're potentially losing the office this year um, so they brought out this Space Force um, in order to kind of you know bring some sort of comedy uh, some sort of replacement for the office now I'm gonna just say this there's if you're an office fan there's really no replacing the office as, as hard as you want to I mean, there's really no replacing The Office. I mean, you know, you have shows out there like Community, um, Parks and Recreation that, that are really funny and I enjoy, but they're not The Office. And so Space Force, even though they brought Steve Carell in, even they, though they brought um, some of the producers and directors from The Office, it's not The Office. And, and, you know, I feel like you don't want it to be. I mean, The Office is its own thing. I mean, you don't, you know, so if, so if your anticipation is, Oh my God, I'm ready because this is going to be like The Office. Then, then don't watch it because, you know, this is supposed to be its own thing, and you have to have an open mind. So for me, you know, that's kind of where I'm at with this. I'm not going to sit here and tell you, oh my God, it was amazing, and this show is oh, ha ha ha. You know, no, there was a couple jokes that you know, okay, you know, uh, you could tell that they're. That they're trying. You could tell that this is a new cast um, that is working together. So I don't think you have that unity yet. Um, so for me, it's like okay, it'll get there. I I feel like if in time it'll get to a to a point where hey, this is actually going to be pretty funny. Um, you got to remember the office. Like it didn't really get amazing until like season three and four. Where then that's when they were winning awards and all this other stuff. So give it some time. I think I think they've got a great concept. And I think there were some great episodes. Uh, I watched the whole thing. I binge watched the whole thing. So I think that there were some great um, episodes that kind of glimmered at, wow, this, this, this can be pretty good. I mean, this can be good if they choose a, a direction to go with it. So... Um, I definitely enjoyed it. Um, would I say that it was amazing? No, I'm not going to say it was amazing. Um, but I did enjoy it. Uh, I would say check it out. If you haven't seen it yet, check it out. It's worth a watch. I mean, it's not, it's not terribly long. You got 30 minute episodes. Um, and I believe there's about nine or 10 of them. So it's not long at all. Uh, you could watch it during a weekend. So I will say, like, um, Steve Carell's character, um, you know, um, and uh, John Malkovich's character, I would like to see them do a little more. Um, I'd like to see how that relationship builds um, as the show goes on. Because there was a couple scenes where I'm like, okay, they're doing pretty good together. Um, so I'd like to see that grow. Ben Schwartz, you remember him from... You, if there's any fans out there of uh, Parks and Recreations, you remember Ben Schwartz. Uh, don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. That guy. <laughs> um, so I'd definitely like to see his character more. You know, he plays the one guy, I think, in every show that's just a little out there with how he does things. <clears throat> I mean... He takes things over the top. So again, you know, his role, his role, I, I feel like you could look at him and just take his roles from Parks and Recreation and 
a lot of these other roles that he's done and just kind of glue them all together and it's the same guy. I mean, that's kind of what you're getting with him. I mean, I, I kind of wish I would have seen a little different, but it's not it's not horribly bad. I mean, I think he plays that role that you kind of need, that comical relief sometimes. So I don't think it's bad. Uh, you know, I, I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what we'll see how all this goes. I, I kind of wanted to bring that out to you guys. And I know that there was a lot of people on here that are Office fans, or there's a lot of people out there that uh, enjoyed the Office. And and not only that, I, I think that there was a lot of people that were just you know, if you're looking for something to watch, I mean, this is definitely something uh, to watch. So um, definitely watch it. I give it um, one thumb and a half. You know, I give it one thumb and a half. Um, kind of leaning closer to the bottom but that's that's my take on it um i'm i'm really excited to see more of it because i think that they can do with the cast they have i think they can do a lot more so um yeah we'll see we'll see so marvel legends um is coming out with a wave as well and what kind of show would i be if we're geeking out if i didn't talk about upcoming toys and figures so um Marvel Legends uh, just came out, and you know there's there's been talks about doing the Strong Guy bath. Uh, if you don't know who Strong Guy uh, is, he is an X Force character, and his ability is obviously he's very strong. Um, so great looking figure that's going to be coming out. But um, one of the other characters, or the other seven characters, so you have to buy these seven characters. If you're if you don't know much about Marvel Legends. You have to buy these seven figures in order for you to build this Build-A-Figure, this bath. Um, so it looks like they're going to be releasing some Deadpool, some Deadpool as well as X-Force characters. And those characters are Sunspot. Um, as you can see here, he comes with um, two Sunspot uh, bracers for his arms that kind of give you that effect that he's using his ability. I think this is a good-looking character. I mean... Eh, not bad, not bad. Um, then we have um, Maverick. He comes with his gun here. Um, you know, just a basic figure. I mean, if if I think anything, I think this will probably be the um, peg warmer here. Uh, peg warmer for those that you don't you don't know is this the, this will probably be the character that not many people buy. This will be the guy that'll just sit there on the shelf for a while. Um, you got Black Tom Cassidy. There's not much to him. He's got his staff. Um, yeah, Black Tom Cassidy. I mean, I get it. You ha you know, you want to build the whole collection. It's got to come out somewhere. Fine. Um, you got the blue and gold uh, Deadpool or the blue and yellow Deadpool uh, from the X-Men series. So this is his X-Men outfit. Um, he finally made it. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so you got that. You got uh, Warpath. Um, yeah. Again, I mean, uh, there's you know, it's always hit and myth, hit hit and miss with um, Marvel Legends. This is okay. I mean, it is what it is. Um, then you got uh, Deadpool as a pirate. Kind of reaching there, I guess. I get that Deadpool has a lot of uh, characters and a lot of, you know, he does a lot of different costumes. Yeah, we'll just we'll just keep going out. And then you got Shikla, who is in the comics, she is Deadpool's wife. But the kind of crazy thing is, is that you also have Jeff, the baby land shark. Yeah, she comes with that. Um, I don't know why. That is more of a, that is Gwenpool's... Um, pet so are they hinting at something i don't know i don't know maybe they are hinting at uh what the next series is i don't know i don't know why they do it but uh yeah that's that's your set for the strong guy um i'm i'm looking forward to the bath i probably won't buy any of these to be honest with you not crazy about any of these i mean i i know there's a lot of people out there that are huge into x-force um, we'll see. I mean, um, I've noticed lately a lot of the legends are, you know, 
they go on sale a lot of times or they'll go on clearance right away because Marvel keeps coming out with more and more so quickly. So we'll see. I mean, we'll see what happens. But um, yeah, this will probably be a set that I'm not too crazy about. But I mean, Strong Guy looks awesome. So if so, if I was an X Force fan or or if you're in a like an like an all out Marvel Legends fan, yeah, then I would say get this because uh, Strong Guy is definitely worth it. I mean, he looks awesome. Just look at him. So. That is my toy review for today. Um, for me, I think they could have gone a different direction. But uh, like I said, you have to bring these characters out in some sort of um, in some sort of wave. So I get it. I get why they do it. Um, I'll give it. Uh, I'll give it one thumbs up. All right. I'll give it one thumbs up just because of the bath um, and Jeff the baby land shark. To be honest with you, I mean, I, th I think that he's that he's worth it. If I get any of them, it'll, it'll probably be just for Jeff, the baby lion shark. Hey, everybody. As you know, we're doing the randomizer today for the Shin Godzilla and the Shen Mew. So how we're going to do that is we've got the names on the randomizer. Top name, we'll get the Shin. Bottom name, we'll get the Shen Mew, okay? That's how we'll do it. Uh, that way we don't have to do this whole huge, long episode of what I'm doing. It's going to be quick, fast, all right, so we are going to use, and this time I'm just going to use a regular die. That way uh, we're not doing this thing 16 times. So so here's the beautiful die. Here we go. Three times, three times. That's easy enough. All right, so we have La Matadora, Hector, Elias, Lopez, Rafael, Victor, and Carlos. Here we go. Remember, top name gets the Shenmue Godzilla, bottom get, I just messed that up, top name gets Shin, and bottom gets Shenmue, here we go, one, oops, here we go, dos, all right guys, last time, here we go, good luck everybody, Hector gets the Shin Godzilla, and Raphael gets Shenmue, Hector, you've been winning a lot of these things. You need to stop. You need to stop. So congratulations to both of you. So we'll get to these as well, the Dragon Ball Z characters. We didn't get a lot of comments on this. Um, I'm probably going to wait till the end of the day. But if nobody else comments, what I'll do is, Elias, um, Elias I will send you the Goku. And then, um, Hector, I'll send you the Vegeta because I know that that's what you guys like uh, from your comments. So um, we'll make it easy. So that's what we'll do. Uh, again, like I said, I'll, I'll wait a little bit. If not, then I'll surprise you guys with those, okay? So awesome, awesome. Thanks for commenting, guys. I appreciate it. I apologize, guys. I got called out in an emergency during my filming. So a little change of scenery over here. I got my foot massager back there. Don't pay attention to that. But anyway, I just wanted to say thank you for your support. And again, like, subscribe, share, and comment. I can't do this without you guys, and I appreciate all the support. So again, make sure you like, you subscribe, and you just share, share, share. All right? Thank you for everything. And as always, I will catch you on the flip side.